Ivan Strakers, this one running for Nicky Henderson. Nicky, who's had two seconds in the National as a trainer, I wonder if he'll have a winner. John White didn't start riding, you know, till he was 12, and his father taught him on a rocking horse. He's done a good job since then, though. Gave this horse a great ride last year. It looked like winning jumping in the last, only to be run out of it. It'd be a great thing if he did, but I think the ground's going to be against him today. And we have news from the paddock now that Bucko number 12 has been judged the best turned out in this very good field and uh, his lad gets 150 quid and a carriage clock from the sponsors. That is Border Berg. Well, if you ignored his last run, he's got a great chance. He'll actually jump round, although his uh, win here in the Fox Hunters a year ago, the form looks a little bit suspect in retrospect. But a lovely stamp of a horse. Great sort of horse this. As you say, sure to jump round. Been ridden by Simon Sherwood for the second time. He ran a terrible race at Newbury, never really going, and pulled him up. But he's hoping to get on much better with him today. They had a workout at Toaster Racecourse on Monday, and I think they got on a lot better there. That's Hettinger just going out behind Borderberg. Hettinger, who Penny says can jump. There is the one of the other girls. This is Marcolo in the red hat Marcolo, number 31, just behind with the uh, dark vest and uh, Venetia Williams, if you were listening earlier, said that she hopes this one will jump round. She thinks he will, and Venetia will be up to the job. She's had a lot of point-to-point -point rides, a lot of point-to-point -point winners. Marcolo, trained by Peter Ransom. So most of the horses we have seen may be confusing. Durham Edition and Midnight Madness, very, very similar indeed. Borderberg, then the red and white, Again, two similar ones there, red and white, a little pole veer, followed by Lucissus with the white hoop. And then we got Midnight Madness up from the West Country, and the yellow of Attitude Adjuster with a big star on his chest and on his blinkers, followed by Bucko. But there is 14, recently purchased by Colin Tinkler for the full circle. They'd already bought a horse darker, John, but he didn't prove up to the job this year. So Colin rushed out to get a replacement. Been round twice, no reason why he wouldn't negotiate the fences again. Takes a long, long while here to get in the parade, and I know that I used to just wish that the race would get on. Now here's the best turned out horse. This is Bucko in the colours of Bookmaker. Previous winner, fourth ride for 24-year-old Richard Dunwoody, who expects this rain-softened ground to inconvenience some of the others more than it will him. Behind him is Ryman Reason. Second ride for Brendan Powell, 27 years old. He's being followed by Lana Rye and the youngest rider, 21-year-old Guy Landor, having his second ride behind him, Hard Case for Ireland, ridden by Ken Morgan. This is the Zarovich. Behind the Zarovich is Durham Edition. Behind Durham Edition is Borderberg. Behind uh, Borderberg is Little Polver, very, very similar to uh, Lucisis. This is Lucisis. You'll note he's got a white face to distinguish them. This is uh, Midnight Madness, the challenger from uh, Cornwall, written by Mark Richards. Behind him, Attitude Adjuster in the blinkers, written by Niall Madden. Then Bucko, the best turned out. Then Strands of Gold and Peter Scudamore. Behind him comes Mona Noor and Tom Taft, 24-year-old Tom Taft. And there's G.A. G.A. and, uh, of course, G. Armitage, 22-year-old G. Armitage, who's... Uh, Mount has incurred liabilities of one and a half million for Hills. That's Memberson in the crossbelts. Behind Memberson is Hugh Davis, another previous winner on Northern Bay. Behind Northern Bay is Suggest. Suggest and Kevin Jones, 24 years old. Come by. Trained by Ginger McCain, of course, the trainer of the great uh, Red Rum. And behind him, Smith's man. Another winning trainer there, Jenny Pittman, one with Corbier. Then comes Inshore. Behind Inshore is Bright Dream with a star. And then... Course Hunter, the uh, sheepskin noseband, uh, last of the brownies, and Eaton Rouge, trained by Mercy Rymo, who won the previous race with Celtic Chief. This is Marcolo, and Miss Venetia Williams, and then Polly's pal, and J.O. Canan, 
27 years old. And behind him, smart side, the Mr. Al Hambly, who's never ridden a winner over fences yet. This is Bass Change, another grey. And behind him, Preb and Fur. Behind Preb and Fur is Tullamarine and Michael Bowlby. And then C and M, Pat Shorty Leach. Behind him, Oid Hills, who looks uh, very dark colours with the sheepskin nose band. Then Friendly Henry and Neil Doughty, never won a race over fences or hurdles in 33 runs, Friendly Henry. And uh, behind him uh, will be Hettinger and Miss Penny Fitch-Hayes. Riding in his skull cap. This is Ryman Reason, the 11 to 1 second favourite. Sacred Path is the 10 to 1 favourite at the moment, followed by Ryman Reason and Lana Ryan, 11 to 1. That, as I say, is Ryman Reason. 12 to 1 West Tip, 14 to 1 Bar, that quartet, and that there is Sacred Path. Skirts looked at, uh, tightened by the starter, Captain Michael Sayers, Michael Bowlby. Aboard, 24 years old, another first-time rider. First-time colours in the National Tour of Patrick Burfield. Green and purple sleeves. And all on pretty good behaviour. That suggest. And Peter Pillar's colours, he's had many cracks at the National. 25 is Big Brown Bear, who was up there for so long last year. Northern Bay walking towards the left there. That's Attitude Adjuster with the star. Brass change walk through there. And Sacred Path. Owned by Christopher and Maggie Heath and Roddy Fleming. And the trainer has a leg too. Ten to one joint favourites now. Sacred Path and Rhyme and Reason. Eleven to one Lanarai. Twelve to one West Tip. Fifteen to one Bar That Quartet. Rhyme and Reason. Trained by David Ellsworth who gives him a tremendous chance. Looks to be very reasonably handicapped. Come by. Trained by Ginger McCain. The trainer, of course, of the great Red Rum. Three times national winner. And earlier this afternoon, a fine statue by Philip Blacker was unveiled by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal. So that, just as Arkell looks over the famed Cheltenham turf permanently, so will Red Rum watch over the hallowed terrain here at Aintree. Smart side, Mr. Al Hambly. He's never ridden a winner over fences, a real plucky bid this. First time over these obstacles. 30 years old, putting up four pound overweight on smart side. Number 33, then arrive with Hettinger, there's cross belts walking left. And very soon now, Michael Sales will be calling him in. That's Prep and Fur. 
36. That's in Shaw, walking right there. 27, Ben DeHaan. He's written a winner, of course, already. One on Corbiere in 1983. This is his seventh ride. 28 years old and trained by the great Fred Winter, who's not only trained winners, of course, but written them as well. Written to and trained to. Little pole there. And you'll see there C&M without the yellow cap. There's Bucko and Mark Dwyer. That's Bright Dream, uh, dismounted by six years old, another of the first-time riders, Smith's man there. Mark Perrett having his third ride, 25 years old. Smith's man, one of the two greys, the other is Brass Change. And Michael Sayer is going across now towards his rostrum. <coughs> and and Lanarai's friend with the donkey there getting in the picture. And they're lining up. This could be a first time up. No, Rippington is breaking the that's it, they're being called in again there. They're all set. Looking across to the starter, heading just turned. The other 39 in line. Borderberg and Lanarai haven't quite haven't got in the front rank yet. Hard case over on the far side turn, so does uh, Preben Fair. Yes, they're running. And uh, Lucis has just dwelt a little bit at the start, but as they race towards the Melling Road, Inshore is right up there with Eaton Rouge and Sacred Path and Zarovich. West tip towards the outside, but it's Inshore the leader from Sacred Path and on the inside, Eaton Rouge. Then comes Come By, Lanarai. On the outside, Little Polver going up to join him with Tullamarine and over to John Hanmer. And Inshore on the inside is in the lead from Sacred Path and GA on the outside with Little Polver and course under it. Man arise right up with him and Sacred Path has fallen at the first and Hettinger has fallen at the first Hettinger and Sacred Path and Tullamarine the three fallers at the first meanwhile Inshore is in the lead from Lanarai, Big Brown Bear then come by Orkia at the second Eaton Rouge is next little Polvia GA the Zarovich and Brass change over the big ditch in front of us and Big Brown Bear is in the lead from Inshore, then Lanarai, then come by Little Polvier, Eaton Rouge, then GA, the Zarovich, and last of the Brownies. And they're all over the third and over to Julian Wilson. Lanarai in the centre of the course, blazing on the trail, Inshore's right underneath the rails in the Fred Winter position, and Yo Welcome's rider has lost his arms and almost carried out course under as they come to the one before beaches, Lanarai over from Big Brown Baron Inshore, behind those that come by and Eaton Rouge, towards the outside is Little Polvia, GA's right towards the outside. Side. The Zarovich is in good position as they come down towards Beecher's Brook. And your welcome's been pulled up and up front. It is Big Brown Bear at Beecher's. Big Brown Bear, Lanarai, inshore, come by Eaton Rouge. All the leaders are over. Practically everything is over, Beecher's. In fact, I can't see. There's just a fall at the back. Marcola has gone at the back, and Lucetis has brought down at the back. And over the seventh, it's Big Brown Bear. From come by in second, then Malarai and Eaton Rouge, and Gia on the outside of Inshore, then Little Polvier and the Tsarovich, then Borderberg and Reppington and Bright Dreams as they come to the canal turn. And at the canal turn, Big Brown Bear over from come by in second, Danarai is third, then Eaton Rouge and Gia, then Inshore on the inside, then the Tsarovich and on the outside, Little Polvier and Borderberg as they jump Valentines. Big Brown Bear come by Eaton Rouge. And Polly's power went at the previous one. And coming to the one after Valentine's, it's Big Brown Bear from Eaton Rouge, come by Lanarai, then GA and Inshore, then Course Hunter and Borderberg and the Tsarovich and Durham Additionals. We rejoin John Hanmer. And Big Brown Bear in the lead from Lanarai, then Eaton Rouge, GA. Then comes come by Course Hunter, Little Polvia, and behind them Inshore, then Borderberg, Durham Edition, the Tsarovich, then Strands of Gold, and then Bright Dream. 
And no faller to that one. And Lanarai now takes the lead. Lanarai from GA. Then Big Brown Bad and Eaton Rouge come by. Court under Little Polvia. Then comes in Shaw, Borderberg, Darren Magician, Lazarevich, Strands of Gold. And back over then comes Leppington, and Dry Free, West Tip. Last of the Brown is attitude adjust the brass change. And they're followed by Hard Case, Oid Gill. And looking right back to the rear of the field, I can see Preben Fair and Memberson and friendly Henry, but as they go to the next fence, it's Lana Rai from GA and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, Lana Rai with the advantage from GA. G. Armitage having a fantastic ride at the moment. On GA, just in behind them come Brig Barn Bear, then Little Paul Vare well in the picture and Course Hunter just in behind him and Borderberg going well inshore holding his position, come by too as they come down to this fence and Lanarai lands in the lead from GA in second, then comes Course Hunter, then Big Brown Bear and inshore, then Little Paul Vare, behind them come Borderberg and then Bucko making good ground. Then comes Durham Edition over this one, and it was Lanarai from Course Hunter and GA, and behind them come Big Brown Bear, come by in shore, Little Pulver, Eaton Rouge, then West Tippers make good ground, Durham Edition, Bucko, they're coming down now to the chair, and it's GA and Lanarai from Course Hunter on the far side, Little Pulver on the near side, Eaton Rouge comes next, then come by, then Durham Edition and Lazarevich going well in strands of gold, behind them Bucko coming down to the water, Lanarai in the lead from GA on the near side course under his third, fourth little pole there, five has come by then Eaton Rouge, then Big Brown there on the inside, Bucko improving on the outer Zardovich is close, behind the Zardovich is strands of gold, then comes West Tip, behind West Tip is Borderberg, they're racing now towards the Melling Road for the second time Lanarai, GA, course hunter little pole there, come by Eaton Rouge, Dottom Edition, West Tip and Big Brown there, then comes Strands of gold, Bucko towards the outside, Lanarai with the advantage from GA and over to John Hanmar. Not making significant progress on the outside is Rhyme and Reason, but it's Lanarai from Course Hunter, GA, Little Polvia, then comes Cumbai. This is the 17th fence, and Lanarai towards the inside, just in front of Course Hunter, then GA, Little Polvia, then Strands of gold, Rhyme and Reason, Bucko, the Zarovich. West Tip still right up there as they come to the 18th. A course Hunter on the near side. And the fall on the smart side of the previous fence, but he was a long way back. And as they come to the 19th, the open ditch, it's GA out in the centre of the course with Little Polvia. Reffington's been pulled up. Then Strands of Girls over third. Bucko four, Ryman Reason five. Then Lanarai who's lost ground. Ethan Rouge only just got over there. Hard case has fallen. Mid Midnight Man is his tail right off and pulled up this northern bay as they jump the next and over to Julian Wilson. GA and G Armitage are leading the Grand National Field. Little Pole bears with her. Towards the inside is Strands of Gold. Then it's Course Hunter. Towards the outside, Ryman Reason creeping closer. And on the inside, West Tip is getting much closer all the time as the leaders jump the one before beach. It's the 21st. And now it's Little Pole Bear in the centre. Strands of Gold going really well on the inside. Course Hunter, GA is dropping back a bit. And Ryman Reason is getting much closer as they come down to beach. Brook for the second time, and at Beechers, on the inside, Strands of Gold, and Strands of Gold is down, and Little Polvia is in the lead, but he's got up again, and of course, Hunter made a remarkable recovery, a terrible mistake, come by as a faller, but of course, Hunter, who was on his knees, has got up again as they jump the 23rd, and Little Polvia is clear, from Ryman Reason in second, in third, now is Durham Edition, then West Tip moved into fourth, then last of the Brownies, then GA, and Attitude Adjuster, behind those is Mononor, behind Mononor, and or is Course Hunter who made that spectacular recovery at Beaches. Bright Green was brought down at Beaches and over the canal turn is Little Polvia from Ryman Reason now second West Tip is third then Durham Edition then last of the Brown is going well Attitude Adjuster behind Attitude Adjuster is one and and GA and Course Hunter as they dumped that one Little Polvia and Tom Morgan still in front Ryman Reason is second Suggesters refused at the previous one West Tip is third then last of the Brown is creeping up to fourth then one and all and Durham Edition and Attitude Adjuster there seven at clear as we rejoin John Hammer Little Polvia fell and you hand it over, Julian, and go to the last pitch, four from home. Ryman Reason's been left in front of West Tip, then Mononor on the outside. 
then last of the brownies, Darren Magician, an attitude of Jasper, and there's a long gap then to Court Hunter and another gap then to Border Berg. But going to the third last, it's Ryman Reason in the lead from West Tip, Mononor, then last of the brownies. CNN has refused, but over the third last, and a crashing fall there from last of the brownies, but as they go across the Menning Road with two to jump, it's Ryman Reason in the lead from West Tip, Mononor, Darren Edition there, Tierra Medicine to Jasper, who's well tier, Brass Changer fallen over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Ryman Reason being chased by Mononor, just behind Mononor is Durham Edition and then West Tip. They're racing now towards the second last fence. And it's Rhyme and Reason with the advantage over Mononor and Durham Edition. About three lengths clear. Rhyme and Reason and Brendan Powell from Mononor on the far side. Durham Edition with the sheepskin nose band going well in third. Fourth is West Tip as they come down to this second last fence in the 1988 National. And Rhyme and Reason is clear. Rhyme and Reason jumps it. About three lengths clear of Dunham Edition, who's still improving though, and Dunham Edition with a sheepskin nose band towards the left is full of running and coming to take it up now. At the last, it's Dunham Edition and Chris Grant who've come to take it up from Ryman Reason. Dunham Edition lands in the lead. Ryman Reason jumps second. Third is Mononor, racing towards the elbow now. And Dunham Edition, written by Chris Grant for Arthur Stevenson, is clear of Ryman Reason, but Ryman Reason is challenging again. Ryman Reason is reducing his lead. Ryman Reason is cutting it down as they race into the final hundred yards. Over on the far side is Donna Badisha. On the near side is Ryman Reason. Ryman Reason is beginning to get up. He's going to win it. As they come to the line, Ryman Reason has won the national. Second is Donna Badisha. Third is Bonanno. And fourth will be West Tip. Just ahead of Attitude of Just a Five. And sixth came Friendly Henry, the horse who'd never won a race and who's run the most gallant race to be sixth. But this is the winner we're looking at. Brendan Powell, 27.